Hello everyone and welcome to the Visual Cam Quick Start Tutorial Series brought to you by Mechsoft. Today we'll be demonstrating Visual Mesh. When you run Visual CAD for the very first time, your screen may look like this. These windows on the left belong to plug-in modules that are currently loaded. For now, let's close all of them. Okay, let's load the Visual Mesh plugin. From the uh, Visual CAD home ribbon bar, We'll go to the Plugins pane, select Visual Cam, drop down the menu, and pick Mesh. And it displays the Visual Cam Mesh browser on the left, and it's divided into three main areas. We have a ribbon bar at the top. Uh, we have a, a data area where all of your mesh objects are uh, created, and then you also have an information area at the bottom that doubles for the command options dialogs. We'll be performing the following steps to complete this guide. First, we'll open a point cloud file. Then, we'll create a mesh from the point cloud. Then, we'll auto fix the mesh and analyze the mesh. After that, we'll refine the mesh and smooth it out. Then we'll analyze the mesh using curvature and reflection analysis. Then we'll create and analyze slice curves from the mesh. Finally, we'll create an offset shell and then split the mesh into two halves. Okay, let's load our part uh, for this tutorial. So from the Visual CAD main menu, we'll pick Open. We'll go to the Visual Cam Quick Start folder here and we'll load a point cloud file uh, that we're going to use to create a mesh from. And then for the translation options, uh, we'll use a common delimited uh, file and we'll pick the option to create the point cloud. So here's our point cloud file and you see that it's listed over here uh, in the data tree. Now, What we're going to do is we're going to create a mesh from this point cloud. So let's go ahead and select the Create tab and we'll pick from point cloud. We'll select our point cloud and from the uh, from point cloud options dialog. Now what I'm going to do uh, in this tutorial, I'm not going to read up each of the option values. We're using the default values so you can uh, stop the video and uh, look at the values and uh, adjust those accordingly. So we're going to go ahead and pick create. So what we have here is a point cloud uh, mesh from a point cloud and as you can see the point cloud is not well defined. We have some holes in the mesh and let's do a quick uh, diagnostics on the mesh to see what we have. So we'll go to the inspect and modify tab. Uh, I mean the repair tab. We'll pick diagnose. We'll select our mesh. Right click and we'll run the checks. As you can see here we have over 1200 open edges those are a problem. We're going to have to close those and uh, these other things we can let slip for now. So let's go ahead and close that and we know uh, we need to close uh, our mesh and fix it. So let's go ahead and turn off our point cloud and then we'll go ahead and we'll do a auto fix and what this does is it automatically analyzes the mesh, uh, closes off any open areas and makes sure everything's watertight. So we'll select our mesh, right click, and auto fix uh, does its job. So as you can see it looks like they filled the holes. Um, it's not a real pretty mesh but at least it's a closed mesh. Let's go ahead and verify that. Pick diagnose, select the mesh, run checks and we see, see we have zero open edges. That's good. Next what we're going to do is we're going to remesh uh, the part. Since it's not real pretty, um, let's go ahead and do a remesh, see if we can refine this mesh down some. So we'll go to the uh, Model tab. With the Expect and Modify tab, we'll do select Remesh. 
select our mesh and we'll do a uniform mesh set our edge length and for the number of iterations we'll set that to four and we'll pick remesh so now we have a little bit smoother mesh and what you can do if you want to see the mesh edges you just go up here and pick tog uh, shading and edges you see that it's relatively uniform it's not real smooth but they are uniform let's go ahead and smooth the mesh out so we'll go ahead and pick smooth from the inspect and modify tab select our mesh right click and for the options down here we'll pick smooth in both directions we'll have four iterations and let's pick smooth so there's our nice uh, smooth mesh everything's uniform everything looks nice and smooth let's go ahead and do a little bit of analysis uh, on this mesh so we'll go up to, and on the inspect and modify tab again we'll pick reflection lines select our mesh and pick render so what you see here is we've got a nice rendering on the mesh and it'll highlight any imperfections uh, in the mesh surface you can also do this to uh, perform a curvature analysis so let's do that pick curvature and pick analyze and you see that it highlights the extreme curvature uh, regions on the part so now what we're going to do is create some slice curves of the mesh and you can use these curves to further uh, analyze your mesh geometry so we'll go ahead and do on the model tab we'll pick slice select our mesh and for the slice distance we we'll use point one and pick slice and as you can see a slice object was added to the data tree and if we turn our mesh off you can see uh, the mesh of the slice object so let's go ahead and turn our grid off so we can see that a lot better so it, it sliced the mesh and uh, 0.1 uh, distances up in the z-axis and also if you want to you can uh, export the slice uh, to actual curve geometry so let's go ahead and turn the slice off turn our mesh back on so now what we're going to do is we're going to offset and shell our mesh and then split it uh, into a uh, top and bottom part so let's turn the slice back on for just a second and I want to rotate this over onto its side so we can get a better uh, uh, splitting action on this part so let's go ahead and select everything and we'll turn the manipulator on and we will rotate our part minus 90 degrees so that'll flip it over uh, onto its side and we'll turn that slice back off so what you see here is we rotated our part now let's do an offset from the mesh so we're going to select offset from the model tab we'll pick our mesh and we'll do an offset inward of 0 0.1 and a tolerance of 0 0.01 let's do an offset so now we have two meshes let's turn the manipulator off we've got a mesh uh, on the outside uh, and a mesh on the inside and if you want to see the inside mesh you can turn your shading off and that will help uh, see the meshes a little bit differently you see that we have a mesh on the inside uh, of the bat of the outside mesh okay so let's go ahead and what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh, we're going to split the mesh uh, down the center so we'll go ahead and pick split we'll select both of our meshes right click and you see that we have a split plane displayed and you can move that split plane to adjust your split area and then also you can pick the option to cap the results so let's go ahead and pick split so it created our top and our bottom mesh 
and let's go ahead and turn the top off and you can see we have a nice uh, offset uh, shell on the mesh and a nice uh, splitting action uh, to split that mesh in two. This completes the quick start tutorial for Visual Mesh brought to you by Mechsoft. For further assistance, you can visit the online help supplied with the program or visit www.mechsoft.com for additional tutorials. Thank you.